Hey, this is Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com and this is Wednesday, October the 3rd. This will be our chart lesson for Wednesday and um, another pretty good trading day today. Uh, it looked like we were going to spend the day in a trading range really until we got this little um, turn up right here and uh, really if you caught um, if you caught one of these entries down here, or this entry, especially this entry right here, you should have made all kind of money today uh, because it was a great setup, a great opportunity. And um, so I hope you got some of it. Um, this trade right here probably made me the majority of my money today. This was a great setup right here. And uh, we'll talk about it in a minute. But um, it wasn't a big trend today, but I would still call this an uptrend. We it's really a continuation from um, uh, where we started yesterday afternoon heading up and we just continued on up and you could call it a larger trading range uh, because there's the highs it's it's about a 12 point trading range so I, that's probably the way I would describe it but it was large enough that it was an uptrend so uh, and we had this nice two-legged move up right here and let me just show you this real quick um, Here's, here was your first leg up right there and then so once we started higher here you should have been looking for something similar to that and if you move that up there you can see that we we missed that high by maybe a tick or two so uh, it actually overshot it just slightly so a nice target to be shooting for and really I believe that this trend channel line was probably more like that right there and you see we never got there and we we got further and further away each time we made this last little three pushes up to that measured leg so that was a strong signal not to be getting along on any more pullbacks until we had a bigger correction and then it really was pretty much down for the rest of the trading day um, we did rally a little bit late in the afternoon but this wasn't worth trading or fooling with there were a couple of shorts right here um, so that was something to look at. But let's talk about each trade. And notice I've got my short-term trend lines on here. I'm really liking these things. The more and more I play with them, they tend to work best when you're working off the closes. And you can see I was kind of working off the closes there. And we finally broke that trend line. And we went up to a new high. And uh, we actually tested it twice. We got a second entry short right here. So this was a great you actually could have entered here but it was better to wait because we got all that overlap and all those uh, overlapping bars let me make this a little bigger now that you've seen the bigger picture so when we ticked higher again right here right after the open the open is actually right in here on this bar so you didn't want to enter yet until this bar had ticked lower uh, but then when we went, tried to go higher and made that one tick higher right there uh, and then had that little doji. That was a great. You could have, you would have had your order here to begin with, and then you could have moved it up, and that was a heck of a nice move down. And again, you got this trend line up here. We got the break, then we got a retest of it, and we had a double top here as well. So a lot of reasons to be thinking short, um, at least for a scout. But man, this turned out to be a great trade. So between this trade, any runners should have been safe here. So between this trade. And, uh, and these two, you should have been set for the day. So, um, But anyway, notice uh, coming down now, I'm coming off all these closes. And suddenly we get a break. And then we run down and test to a new low. And then look what happens. It rallies. And so this trend line has helped me both times to know kind of how to time that trade. And then we're actually, um, I actually faded the breakout here because we already had a double bottom this is the lows of the day and we almost always bounce off that unless something really crazy is going on so I felt like you know I felt good about buying this low right here and uh, so you could have entered above this bar when it ticked back here and then went higher you could have entered above this bar right here or above this bar but when it ticked back again and failed, you definitely should have entered above that bar. So there was about three different opportunities to enter down there. And a couple of them would have given you an easy runner 
and you could have ridden this all the way back up to the top and and I don't have my line on there but let me show you this it's kind of a short term there's your closes and you can kind of see that that we're kind of following the closes all the way up and then we broke that trend line closed below it went up to make that double top so there's another short and that's that's the reason I shorted that there um, because I'm beginning to te you know really trust this setup here in the right situation and not only that but we've already got a double top and we got a tick higher this time and we actually made a double top there and so that's a nice reversal and an easy scalp and then notice this if you come off the closes right down through here we finally broke this right here and then two legs down to a new low one leg pull back two legs and we also had a little double bottom here again and um, so it, it was just draw that on there because the visuals always make it more clear I believe and you can see that little double bottom right there and we ticked one tick lower there and this this looked really bullish it ended up closing as a doji um, but when we ticked higher, I went ahead and dropped me an order in here, and uh, when it pulled back, I got it. And this was a nice little trade up through here. Um, runners were easily safe, and you actually had another chance to enter above this bar as well, because it ticked back a few ticks. And the, even this bar hesitated a little bit before it finally took off, and then it just kept going and going and going. And of course, then I'm looking for the measured leg. You got to figure if you got one leg up and you're making new highs, you're going to get another leg similar to that. And I'll show you again. There's that first leg. You come over here and there's that second leg. And so I think we missed that high by maybe two ticks, something like that. So. That gave you a nice target to shoot for, and that, and once we met that target, we sold off. But um, then we had this, um, and this is actually a kind of a two-legged pullback here. We went into a little chop here and had a failed break lower. So there's a couple of different reasons to enter here. We wouldn't have had this trend line yet. So, but now you got your trend line. But really, by the time we hit it again, there wasn't a, a good setup, and you had this. Um, kind of a wedge pattern up here you had your three pushes and no notice this uh, because I had some questions about this notice how far this move moved above these highs and then we had a little two-leg correction another nice second entry long right there two-legged pull back to the EMA so a good place to enter and then look how far we went above there we only went a few ticks then we had another two-legged correction and then this one was even weaker and didn't go as far as this one and that's three little pushes up to a new high. That's usually a good opportunity. So there was actually a short up here um, if you wanted to take it. It's not a great setup, but it's it's a you know it's a strong indication of a high. And it really, if you put your let's just get rid, of, <laughs> get rid of that line, excuse me, um, and you can kind of see that little wedge pattern right. It's forming right there, and if you pull it, really if you pull it down to these three, it's even better right there. And generally, those when those occur at high, that you know they're reversal type patterns. So um, there was a short there. I didn't mark it because it's not a great short because we haven't really had a trend line break off of this trend line yet, and um, so it's always possible we bounce here and make another leg up. Uh, but but there definitely wasn't a good trade set up here and it definitely was risky because of the things I just talked about we had a measured leg up um, each one of these pushes to a new high was weaker than the previous one it's kind of a wedge pattern um, several different reasons that you should have been expecting a possible uh, bigger correction there and plus notice remember I'm always telling you we always come back to test these breakout areas look how we broke out of there and never came back and tested that and that's what this was we finally came back and tested it and um, 
we actually usually what they'll do is wherever the original entry was prices a lot of times will come all the way back to there and you can see that original entry on this was right there and look where we and if you look across there look where we came back to there was the original entry right there one tick above that bar and look at that we came back and got that exactly and that's what I'm always talking about about how efficient the ES is and then notice this correction right here here's the breakout there's the low right there and notice where we came back to and here was the entry that was our good short right there and so we're trying to probably fill that now and whether or not we'll do it I don't know but we'll see we could continue to go higher and make another leg like this whole leg here I don't know but um, then we started selling off so now we got a downtrend working uh, again I drew this line off the closes and look what happened we finally broke it and moved to a new low and then we corrected after that so um, but you got a a nice bounce and again this is a wedge pattern coming back down uh, notice how it's coming into this little tight wedge and you got a second entry short here a double top um, off the EMA this was previously um, resistance and it hasn't really acted as support yet um, so there was just enough to get a scalp out and then we came back up so again we got another double top that's the first break of the trend line so another chance to short and you see we ran on down to a new low and then we rallied after that and there was there were some trades in here but it's you know it's getting really late in the day and I generally don't like to mark those so um, and that was pretty much it for the day so make sure you try to draw these these short-term trend lines because they do and I mean even if you go but go get started looking at these little two-legged moves there's your trend then we break it and we come back and make a new low and that's kind of what these little there's another we broke it we come back and test it and then we go higher again so uh, continue to experiment with these line with these little short-term trend lines because I'm really uh, I'm really enjoying these and, and finding some real value in them it's not always there but when it's real clear like this right here you can see those closes coming up through here and let's say even if you used those closes you still had the break and a move to a new high and then we sold off so um, and then you got these coming out through here so there's I'm seeing some real value in this uh, using the these short-term trend lines so it really helps you to get a better idea when things are reversing so uh, I'm gonna wrap it up hope you had a good trading day it really was a pretty good day today and um, if you didn't have a good day today study your chart figure out where you went wrong um, and learn from it figure out where you went right and reinforce the right things and um, try to correct the wrong things and come back tomorrow and start over again and that's how you do it And if you do that every day it may take some of you it may take a month or two some of you may even take a couple of weeks uh, it's very rare that somebody picks it up that quick but some of you may take a couple of years and uh, that's just a fact and, and different people take different amounts of time but the only way to learn this is to do it every day and get used to watching um, prices and the main reason I enjoy doing this chart lesson every day and the reason I do it for free is is not you know I'm a good guy and I like helping other people trade and I enjoy that but I get something out of it too so I'm not gonna feel, or try to mislead you what I get out of it is I get a chart review and that's why I've gotten good at this because I go back every day and I look at my charts and study them and I look for the setups and I compare them to my trades and I look for the ones I missed and I look for the ones I got wrong and I study them and um, and so it helps me improve my trading so yes I get something out of doing this even though I do it for free every day I get a chart review and I can tell you that is the key to learning how to trade is to go back it's not just trading every day don't trade with real money until you've proven you can do it on the simulator get on the simulator with good data you, you can get uh, you can sign up for ninja trader with all types of brokers uh, I use AMP or AMP and um, whether you or not you want to use them there's a lot of them out there they all offer the free ninja trader simulator for some period of time get on it turn on your simulator quit trading with your real money and just watch prices move every day and trade and try to do the right things 
and then at the end of the day go back and study your chart and review it and learn from it figure out what you did right and reinforce that and try to do it again tomorrow figure out what you did wrong and try to make sure you don't make that mistake the next day and you probably will you may not make it the next day but probably within a few days you'll make that mistake again but after you've made it a few times and you start to recognize it you'll start to see it in real time and see keep working at it and uh, you'll get better I'm going to wrap it up. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. We'll see you next time.